All right, a little more until dawn. Uh, finished the previous part. We just more or less took control of Sam, so now we're going to carry on with that. All right, so we need to uh, go and find Josh for the generator. She only wants to take a hot bath. So let's have a quick look down here. I mean, there's so many little things that... No, there's not. I don't think we can get there. Do you know, like, little clues and totems are playing a big part in this story so far. Go back and watch the previous. Am I going the right way? We'll soon find out. Are they still arguing downstairs? I thought that was way yeah, past there. Totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Where's the stairs? Oh, hello. All right, that's locked. Just take the obvious there, shall I? No, nothing. What are these doing? That is Josh down there. Who are the other two? Ashley right, and. Sure what? What one was. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time. Me and. Well. Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right. You guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris. Let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Chris, that was his name. Totally went blank there. I'll have to write these down. Alright, so they've gone to find a spirit board. He means a Ouija board, doesn't he? Were we on the main floor then? I think we're going down. Or is this the way that Chris came in? In the previous part? Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like... Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Alright, status update. What have we got here? Some more family photos. Josh and the girls, Hannah and Beth. Uh, Josh with his lovely sisters, Hannah and Beth. Looking great, guys. 2013, okay. Alright, seriously, why is everywhere fucking locked? Don't think there's anything down there. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Yeah, she was nice to the girls, wasn't she? Where the others were all playing the prank, she didn't want no part of it. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. In fact, she tried to warn them, didn't she? Hannah. I think it's Hannah, the one with the glasses. Sorry to drag you down into the bowel. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's 
Definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. All right. What's he got? Shit, he? Oh, a bat. I said he's a human. Let's keep it humorous. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you, can you hold this? What's that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, oh, shit. <laughs> can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Do we get into the sand? Don't move. That is the controller, by the way. You don't move the controller. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Sam, please. Wait, I didn't fail that, did I? Did I? All right, third time's the charm. Nice one. Oh, finally. It moves on its own. Okay, You've got to adjust it. First, we got to increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. It's okay. I'm just try again. All right, we'll go again. Oh, I got what we got to do. Uh! Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this yeah, time. Yeah, figure that out, sir. Sure. All right, when it says ban the light day, that's what we got to do. Oh, too early. Oh, damn. damn. It's okay. I'm just try again. Oh, I'm getting a bit repetitive, you know me. Got yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Missed. Like a, 
a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Wait, look at the shadow on the wall there. Is that a rat? <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, Strangers! Hey. What? Hey. What the hell? Boom. You just got mumped. What? <laughs> nice. nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right, so have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. I would like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural. Ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? Yeah. Uh, of ghosts, probably yes. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Wait, do you think we're Chris, or are we the serial killer? Or someone new entirely? And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Hmm. Oh, look. Just to the right there. Uh, below where it says loyalty, because we said something about spiders in the previous part. I just noticed that. Also a needle on the front desk. I'm not sure what that is to the right there. Um, honesty. So, you would tell the truth. Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? I wish he was more specific with charity. And, uh, ooh, honesty, charity. We'll go honesty again. <laughs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.
All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching there. Bit of a shorter part today, but um, quite a bit going on there. Hopefully, you join me in part six. You know what to do. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. You want to get in touch, Facebook, Twitter. All links are below. Getting good this story. That, you know, therapist, is he? I'm assuming. Uh, his office changes like a little darker uh, each time. The theme, like he had boarded up windows then and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you join me in part six, and I'll see you next time.